Why do I allow myself to look like this? Depending on the device you're playing Minecraft Bedrock Edition on, Mojang may or may not allow you to join external servers. If I go to the Servers tab of my Bedrock Edition on PC, you can see there's a button here which allows me to add a server, where I can then enter a server name, a server address and a port. On mobile, this is exactly the same. There's just a button which allows me to add a server, and after filling in the server information, you can join and have fun. But if I go to the Servers tab of Bedrock Edition on console, there is in fact no way to add an external server. Mojang only allows us to join these seven featured servers, but we're not able to add an external server of our own. Which really sucks. So that would mean if one of your friends has a Bedrock server or a Java server with Geyser MC installed, you would not be able to join. But don't you worry, because even though Mojang doesn't officially support it, there is still totally a way to join third-party servers on console. And today, I'm gonna show you how. Now, there are two very important things to keep in mind. First of all, you should definitely double-check if you're subscribed to the channel. I would appreciate it a lot. And second, you will need a subscription on your respective console to use Minecraft's online multiplayer features. So on Xbox, this means you need Xbox Game Pass. On PlayStation, you need a PlayStation Plus subscription. And on a Nintendo Switch, you will need Nintendo Switch Online. Without these subscriptions, you're completely locked out of the online functionality of these games. So do keep in mind, you will still need them. Now as to how we're gonna get this working. We're gonna use a piece of software called Bedrock Connect and don't worry, you don't have to install this piece of software yourself. All you have to do on your end is change some DNS settings inside of the settings of your console and then it will work like magic. So I will leave a link to this page in the description down below if you want to read this all for yourself. The thing we're gonna be interested in is this part over here though. And then more specifically, these addresses. These are gonna be interesting. So here it explains you exactly what to do. Go into your console's internet settings and set your primary DNS to this IP and then the secondary DNS to 8888. This method will be exactly the same for both Nintendo Switch and Xbox. Be careful, if you're using PlayStation, the first IP is actually going to be different. So the method is still the same, but the primary DNS will not start with 104, but will start with 45. But the second DNS is still going to be 8888. So how do we do this in practice? We're simply going to go to the settings of our console. You can see I'm on a Nintendo Switch 2. This also works on a Nintendo Switch 1. And if you're on PlayStation or on Xbox, it will all look very different. Of course, it's a completely different console. But what you want to do is simply go to the settings of your console, wherever those settings may be should be easy to find somewhere on the home menu. And then we're simply gonna navigate to the internet tab. Then we're gonna go to internet settings. Over here, you wanna locate the network you're connected to. Then you wanna click and go to change settings. And over here, we're gonna scroll down until we find DNS settings. Currently, it is on automatic. So we're simply gonna click. We're gonna set it to manual, just like that. And now you can see we have an option to enter a primary DNS and a secondary DNS. So the primary DNS, we're gonna set it to that IP we just saw on the GitHub page. There we go. Gonna click on OK and it's set. Now the secondary DNS should go to 8888. It has been set. <laughs> now we're simply gonna save this. There we go, settings have been saved. That's good. And what we're gonna do now is pop back into Minecraft. We're gonna go back to the servers tab and you might already notice some stuff here has changed. A couple of the featured servers now have a new description which says join to open server list. So you can just go ahead and join one of the servers that has this description. In my case, I'm gonna go for the hive. There we go. And doing that won't get us to the hive. Instead, we're now connected to a Bedrock Connect server. And from here, we can join any Minecraft server that we want. So good to note is that the featured servers that we're now no longer able to join from the server section on Bedrock, we can now join from here. So all of the servers, except for the newest one, Steel Soul, they're all featured right here. So we can just hop onto one of those servers if that is what we want to do. But what we can now do as well 
is simply add a server of our own. So if we click on the connect to a server button, we're over here able to add an external IP, port and display name if we want to add it to a server list. And then that will just allow us to go ahead and play. So let me go ahead and enter a server IP. There we go. That's the IP of a Java Edition server, which has Geyser MC installed, allowing our Bedrock Edition client to join. Of course, we also need to specify the port. So let me do that real quick. There we go. Now we can give it a display name. I'm not going to do that. I am going to add it to my server list though. That way I don't have to re-enter this IP every single time I want to hop onto this server. And now we're just going to click on submit it's gonna start connecting straight away and before we know it bam <laughs> we're in the server look at that oh that is amazing that works so seamless so we're currently on a java edition server with geyser mc and floodgate installed also via version because the server is in 1.21.8 and bedrock is only compatible with the latest version of the game so there will be 1.21.10 as of releasing this video but with via version that is not a problem whatsoever and we can just join. So uh, there we go. We're currently playing on an external server on Bedrock Edition on a Nintendo Switch. It feels so weird to play with a controller, by the way. I'm not used to that whatsoever, but it works and it's so immensely cool. Now, one downside is if you look in the top left, you can see my skin does not work. If we open the game menu, you can see over here the skin does actually work. But of course, all of these cosmetics are not compatible with Minecraft Java Edition. And this is still a Java Edition server, so the skin will not show up not a big deal though the fact that we're able to play here at all is really really cool now if we go ahead and exit this server and we then go back to the servers tab you can see that we still have the same featured servers here but let's go ahead and click on play on lifeboats there we go that is gonna bring us back to better connect and now you can see all the way here at the top there is our own external server the one i just added and i saved to the server list it is now here so we now don't have to enter the whole ip and port again every single time we can simply click and it will immediately connect and we can then just go ahead and continue playing it is really cool now for xbox and playstation this will work exactly the same the only difference is that the internet settings will have a different ui as they are different consoles with different operating systems so it will all look a little different but the functionality should be the same and also on playstation the primary dns ip you need to add is different so that is also very good to keep in mind don't get it mixed up but other than that the method works exactly the same and this will allow you to play on an external better condition server or a java server with geyser mc installed on a console and that is gonna be it for today do make sure to subscribe to my channel join my discord thank you so much channel members and then i will see you in the next one bye bye see you later bye bye